We have received a lot of inquiries about what to do after you send a push notification. So you send a push notification, a user receives it, he clicks on it, and nothing happens. We want to change this today. We want to be able to return to the app uh, once a user clicks a notification and do something actually with this data uh, by you know logging it on a console, save it on a device, or even just send it to the web. So for the demonstration purpose, I've just created a blank app with pushbots integrated in it. If you don't know how to do that, just follow the link I'll put on the screen and you'll be able to do that. Also before I start, I just want to make sure that you guys have created a separate class for pushbots. So you have the main activity and you have a new class. My application, it has uh, the code for starting pushbots library. If you don't do that, probably your app is going to crash. So to avoid that, just please make sure you do it. With this setup, if I just go to the Pushbots website and a test push message. Let me go back to my emulator. And here I got this push notification. The problem is once I click it, nothing happens. Everyone wants to be able to return to their app when the when the user click the push notification, so we will have to do that by ourselves in the documentation. Custom push handler. There are like three steps you need to do. So I'm just gonna follow it. So in the beginning, we need to create a new receiver class in our app. So let me go back to Eclipse, create a class, and let's call it custom handler. I'm just gonna copy this code but there change my package name and the class name so we use custom handler so we're done with step one step two is to add a receiver to the Android manifest so I'm gonna go to the Android manifest and before the end of the application tag, I'm just going to add this receiver. I'm going to change the name to my package and this one to custom handler. Now to step three, which is adding this line in my application.java. So I'm going to go just beneath the line that initialized the pushbots library. I'm just going to add this and I'm going to change it to the custom handler. So we're almost there, but there's another additional step that we need to, to go through to be able to handle the notification, which is to handle the activation and the deactivation of the app. So I'm just going to create a static boolean variable. I'm going to call active and I'm going to assign it to false initially. And then we just need to handle that through the onStart and the onStop methods. OnStop. So I'm just gonna as a normal. So all we need to do is just to assign active to true when it's when it starts and when it's once it stops I'm just gonna sign active to false and I'm gonna create a method that returns the value of this variable I'm gonna call it is active this function just returns the value and this function is actually if you open the custom handler, that is the function we're creating. So just it's an extension to the code of pushbots. Let's go back to the main activity. I think that's it. That's all what we need to do right now. Let's let's go and test it. So let's run the app. So the app is up and running. Let's go back and let's try to send this push notification. Let's go back to the emulator. Now we're outside of the, the app and I'm gonna click it and 
and now I return to the app and if you go back to your Eclipse and take a look at the log you'll find that user clicked notification with message hello world again so if you open the custom handler class and go to this specific line this is the line that logs it all so you can access this notification through push data to get message so now you can do anything you want to do with this message you can store it uh, in the device you can send it to web and that would be pretty much it